A lot of news coming out about COVID this week, and we're committed, of course, to bringing you the facts. I want to bring in our medical expert, Dr. David Winner from Baylor Scott and White Health. Good to see you. Good to see you, Sonia. Happy Friday to you. Thank you. Likewise. OK, so let's break down uh, whether or not COVID-19 is surging nationwide and then sort of the picture uh, here in Texas. What's going on right now? Yeah, it is surging in the Midwest and along the East Coast. It's surging so far, not here in Texas, but big surges up there. They say that they think this is all due to the B117. That's the British variant. And two days ago it was announced that's the most common coronavirus in this country now. So that's the big dog. We know it's more contagious and some studies say maybe more deadly also. So big worries right now about a surge. Fortunately, in Texas, we're kind of flat right now. We need to pay attention and respect the fact this virus is out there fighting. And Dr. Winter, what about the latest on the vaccines? Do they work against that B117 variant? Yes, all three, Pfizer, Moderna, Johnson & Johnson, they all work about, uh, on this variant. The concern is future variants, they might not be susceptible. So the manufacturers say, now we can tweak the, the vaccine, we can make it better if the variants come out. A better way, though, is to get more people vaccinated and also to distance and wear a mask when around people who may not be vaccinated because this virus is still a big problem in parts of this country and around the world right now, Sonia. What about travel? I feel like a lot of people are thinking about travel right now, you know, summer travel coming up. Is it safe to travel if you're vaccinated? Like maybe we should talk about the latest CDC recommendations because I think there's some confusion around that. And then what about traveling outside of the US? Yeah, if you're fully vaccinated, that means two weeks after your second shot of Pfizer or Moderna or two weeks after your single shot of Johnson & Johnson, you can travel. Travel in the United States is pretty easy. In fact, in most places, you don't have to have a quarantine before. You don't have to have a test result that you take with you. Now, some resorts and destinations may have exceptions, so call ahead just to be sure about that. But it's pretty easy here in this country. Now, when you go foreign, that's a problem. Many countries, of course, are locked down. If they're not locked down, they're going to probably require you to have a test before you can board the plane. And the test, in some instances, has to say, PCR. Now that's a part of confusion. So PCR is one uh, test that tests for the virus itself. There are others though, those are sometimes called NAA, nucleic acid amplification. Those are as good, some say better than PCR. But I had a patient last Saturday who were blocked from boarding the plane because her test did not say PCR. We've actually modified the way our test results. If it's not the PCR, our test results at Bader Scott and White will say PCR equivalent. You need that PCR word in there because the agents to the airports, they don't understand this right now. So traveling overseas is complicated. You have to test also when you come back in. But if you're vaccinated, you get a little bit of a break here, particularly in this country. We're pushing vaccines this week, big time. Yeah, and Dr. Winter, what do you think about um, outdoor events? Like I know the Arboretum has outdoor concerts happening right now. They've got people squared off, so they're six feet from other you know, groups or families. Um, and when I think about herd immunity, when we, when we talk about this 70 or 80 percent, right, that includes children and children can't get vaccines right now. So when you are coming together in large groups, if you're outside, is that okay? Well, it's certainly better than indoors, but you're right, we do not have herd immunity yet. So that virus is still out there, big time up north, may come down this way also. Masking and distancing is, is very important, but outdoors, you're pretty uh, much safer. So I, I'm all for doing that, getting out there, but vaccination is the key. If you get a vaccine, you are much, much safer right now. So I'm worried about the folks that are concerned about vaccines. They're very safe, they're highly effective, that's going to allow us actually to tame this virus and go back to life close to what it used to be, at least eventually. All right, I'm getting my first shot today, Dr. Winter. I can't be more thrilled. Good for you. <laughs> Thank you. I'll talk to you soon. We appreciate you.